All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. So as you can see, there's a giant blue lift in here, 125 foot boom lift. So I was working off that today, um, changing these lights out. If you can see on the top left and the top right here in a second, uh, changed out these lights in the ceiling from HID um, to LED. Um, they call these corn cob lights, kind of the lights you see in like elementary school gymnasiums. Um, so I was retrofitting these, changing them out, um, upgrading them, basically deleting the ballast and then um, just wiring them straight to the power source, which was 277. So I had to get up in the lift, kind of move the lift all around back and forth several times. Um, there was two lights at the this side and two lights on the other side of this kind of barn looking thing. Um, and then the other um, building, there was another um, three lights. So there was seven total. As you can see, there's like six right here, um, but all these ones weren't working. So you'll see the ones that are working here in a second, I believe, once it gets to it. Um, so there's one of those, and then there's two more coming up. Um, so I had to bring the drive to lift over here across the little street um, in the building yard, this giant industrial site for railroads or whatnot. Um, so I went ahead and did that, and it was really uh, tight fit, barely could get the lift inside of the um, little building right here, barely fit through the door with like a foot to spare, and then I had to drive it between um, some of the iron posts right here. Um, if you can see, there's two posts right there, basically I had to drive to lift in and turn it, and then just go straight up with the lift to access some of these lights. Um, not gonna lie, these were kind of difficult. Obviously I haven't done them before, but just because the glass was so hard to get off, um, just from sitting there for like probably like 10 or 15 years, here's a closer picture. But um, basically what you had to do um, was unscrew, there's a screw on one of the sides, and then there's a hinge on the other side, you loosen the screw and then it folds open, and that's where you access all the wires above the light. Um, and then I was just rewiring it and then closing it back up and then basically had to take the outside little um, ring off and then there's a cage inside. So I had to take both of those off when those are usually the ones full of uh, bird poop on top or a little spider nest or whatnot, cobwebs, it was all gross. So I had to take those both off and then had to basically um, unscrew the light bulb, but because it was sitting there for so long, it was extremely hard to get off on some of them. I had to basically use everything I had, all my strength. Um, and then like on the last light, my coworker brought over like a belt, kind of like a like a belt wrench or whatever you call it. Basically, just is like a kind of like a belt, like on your um, clothes or whatnot. And then you basically just put it around the light, and then just pull on it, and it just came right loose. It was really nice. Um, so it would have been nice to have those on the first like four to six lights, but. Um, I got the other ones, but a couple of them were just impossible to get off because they were just stuck shut. So got the belt wrench, whatever you want to call it, and it worked out really nice. And then um, just reverse the process, screw the new LED light in, and then put the um, the ring back on and then the cage and then screw it back together. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much my day. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Like I said, today was kind of Another new learning experience for me. I haven't worked on these things before and I um, kind of kept forgetting the instructions and um, like kept messing up on a few things. So it took me a little bit longer. So I feel like my coworker was judging me. Like I just felt like all this anxiety and pressure um, that I was making up in my head. Maybe he wasn't um, thinking anything at all, but I just felt like I was letting the team down, going too slow, messing up and um, stuff like that. So it was kind of a rough day for me, not be, not because of the work or anything, but just because of the mental aspect of feeling like I wasn't sure exactly what I was doing and like making a few mistakes, which probably costed like an hour or whatnot that I had to go back and fix. Um, so anyways, other than that, it was really good. Basically just blew through the day, just no breaks, no lunch, anything like that, and just called it a day. Um, so I need to get something to eat, take a shower, because I just feel disgusting with all the um, stuff that fell on me like bird poop or spider webs or cobwebs or anything like that. So I'm going to take a shower here real quick, but I wanted to update you guys with the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Love to see you guys back here in the next one. Um, like I said, I'll be going out of town again next week, back to the industrial factory, stripping more wires and stuff like that with the, um, other stuff. And then I'll be going to a different site tomorrow. I think it's like a fire station or something. So 
doing some panel work or panel swap or something like that, some kind of swap, doing some pipe, repulling some wire and stuff like that. So it might be a shorter day, but I'll keep you guys informed if you stay subscribed. So anyways, check the description for anything else and hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. And shame on you, whoever pretended to win my giveaway last or two giveaways ago. Someone pretended to um, be the winner and said that their account was frozen or something like that. But um, I contacted the actual winner because um, it's my friend, uh, my friend's uh, brother, actually. Um, but anyways, um, got that all taken care of. I mean, I already sent him the money like instantly on live stream. Um, took a couple gives a couple giveaways ago. I, I think it was three thousand subscribers or something like that, or two thousand. But anyways, got it all figured out. Um, basically, the someone pretended and said, "Hey, my account's frozen. You need to send the money back." So I sent it out a cancel request or whatever. And uh, anyways, finally got that reversed because um, he he won, and I um, the cancel request was sitting there, but he obviously was the winner. So just got the uh, cancel request canceled. So anyways, that's all good, but no one cares. So anyways, shame on you, whoever did that and wasted all this time and people have to listen to this. So anyways, see you guys tomorrow. And then, like I said, um, I'm working for tens. So, um, I'll have to figure out videos for Friday now or whatnot, or skip it, but probably figure something else. I felt figure something else out, but I will have the announcement on Friday. So stay tuned for that. If you made it this far. All right, guys, God bless. See you tomorrow. Peace out.